I've got to say, there's been so much made about the changing economics of entertainment due to this movie that you and James Cameron just made. Tell me, though, first, can we expect another one? Are you working on a sequel? Well, I think we always told people that uh, if this first one was successful, we would do a second one. So I think we're going to have to. Yeah, I, I think that's a yes. We were hearing from on the News Corp uh, uh, conference call earlier today in response to their earnings some questions about that and saying that uh, News Corp's in early talks uh, about getting this done. Can you give us a sense of, of how far along those conversations are? Well, I think uh, Mr. Murdoch and uh, uh, Tom Rothman and Jim Giannopoulos at the, the studio itself are very excited about the prospect of a sequel, and we've certainly had conversations, and it's something we'd like to uh, start addressing as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, well, tell me what else you're working on right now, because certainly looking at just how much this movie has grossed in ticket sales raises a, a lot of questions uh, about what's next there for DVDs, or for, for another life for Avatar. Well, we've been working with uh, companies like Panasonic, who's a partner of ours in, uh, on Avatar, on, on how do we bring uh, 3D entertainment into the home at a very high quality level. Uh, there are another, um, other companies also doing it. I think that's the next wave. And if you look back at, at history, uh, color films were not prevalent really until the 1970s. And it happened when they had to compete with color televisions in the home. So I think we're going to see a shift now where there's going to be an emphasis on 3D for the home, which is then going to come back and propel more movies into 3D. But tell me, sir, I mean, when you talk about bringing TV, 3D TV into the home, there's a tremendous amount of infrastructure that's got to catch up with the technology that you're using. I mean, I heard what, like less than 10% of TVs currently on the market have this capability to, to show 3D. I think that's true, but I think if you look at how quickly uh, people start to adapt, uh, whether it's DVDs or other formats, I think this will come in time. Uh, what we saw in the exhibition community for films is that the exhibitor did not have a reason to adjust from a film projection system to a digital projection system until they saw the quality they could get in 3D. I think you're going to see the same thing in the homes. People are now going to have an impetus to buy a new television set to go out there and say, I'm going to replace my standard def set with something I can really see a difference on, a 3D set. Mm -hmm. Do you see yourself getting into th that kind of infrastructure industry yourself? Are we going to see a John Lando TV? Uh, I, you know, I think that uh, we as at, with Jim Cameron would like to be involved in, in 3D content. I think there are a lot of great opportunities. I think there's great opportunities in live events, being able to bring live events uh, into the home and into the theater uh, for specialties, for, for the Rolling Stones' last concert, for the World Cup final. A lot of different opportunities that I think you'll see a lot of excitement on the consumer side. How do you charge for this, though? I mean, how do you sell that value proposition to the customer? I mean, certainly with Avatar, you see things like what Fandango sales were up 45% after your Academy Award nominations. Those numbers are hard to argue against. But for consumers who've got less money to spend right now, how do you convince them to spend more on, on those tickets to those concerts or to those movies? Well, I, I think, again, I think it's, it's a value. I think that people are going to be able to get an experience. People go out now. And entertainment is something people continue to spend on. Uh, we turn to entertainment for escapism. Mm -hmm. So it's spending that dollar is somehow easier, you know, secondary to the normal staples of life. But I also think it's going to be free content. I think you're going to have free content uh, coming in over your cable com provider in the future, over your satellite provider. And you're going to be able to see those events just like you watch on an HD station today. You'll be able to get that on your television sets.